TGI Friday, everyone, because you know what that means. Yep, today is another blog post day, and actually the last blog post of 2020, and uh, I think it's not not for another month that there's going to be another one. But before we do get into the blog post of today, which is there's a lot of stuff to talk about, I want to talk about what happened yesterday uh, regarding Call Obsidian. I know that Reddit is in a bit of a firestorm over this, so in case you guys were unaware, uh, I'm looking for, I, think, I believe it's this one, yep. Yeah. So, Call Obsidian character shards are now exclusively available in the premium orb at a higher drop rate alongside yo-yo so minerva was taken out of the premium orb in that two percent slot and colobsidian was added in a lot of people were wondering uh, what was going on with colobsidian if he was going to be made farmable or not because basically he was coming up next in terms of farmability i think between him and beast uh they were we were expecting colobsidian to come but now it's been confirmed that he is a two percent drop rate in premium orbs i'm pretty sure he is also still in the regular orbs as well uh the basic and the mega orb and ultimus i'm pretty sure he's still in there at the regular rate uh so minerva was moved out into the war store at 1375 credits so no longer that two percent drop rate that uh, she used to have now uh, one thing i'm curious about and i don't actually know please uh, let me know in the comments below if you know the answer to this i'm wondering how long minerva was actually in the premium orbit two percent i don't know when she was originally put in there uh, and that might give us a kind of an idea of how long that we're going to be waiting for until call obsidian gets moved out i think it's maybe even close to a year but i'm not entirely sure i know that she wasn't made available for a very long time and then made that 2%. Of course, that doesn't really mean much uh, for farming Call Obsidian because 2% is really bad. That means for every 100 <laughs> premium orbs that you have, uh, you might get him twice, and that depends on RNG and all that. So basically, one pull every 50 orbs. And hey, I mean, great that I've been saving up my uh, premium orbs for uh, a prospective orb opening event, which doesn't seem like it's happening, uh, but I do have 140 orbs, which I will open at some point, and so by laws of RNG, I mean, I, I should get at least almost three pulls of Cull Obsidian with her 45 shards, you know, but probably not because I've been unlucky lately. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to go over that really quick with you guys. I know a lot of people are unhappy about that. I'm sure that there isn't very many people in here that are excited about it. So just wanted to go over that kind of bit of news and see what you guys thought about that before we get started over on the blog post, which we're going to jump over to now. So uh, without further ado, everyone, uh, let's get this blog started. And so here we are over on the blog posts here on MarvelStrikeForce.com. Countdown to 2021 is the title, and as you can see in the background, we have Yelena, Shuri, and Emma Frost, and that gives you a kind of an idea of what's to come in the blog post a little bit, uh, which is nice to see Emma Frost here. A lot of people were thinking about uh, when is she coming back, but it does look like that we are getting a third iteration of Emma Frost Milestone uh, a little bit later than a lot of people expected, though. But let's uh, continue on with the blog post. So basically, it's been a long year, 2020, 2021 something. <laughs> us this is the last blog post that they're going to give us until i believe the second or third week of january and we have a lot of stuff to talk about so i'm not going to really read this here so red winter is the next coming event this is going to be after uh, my guess is after the mojo event that's coming up uh, on monday so this is the red winter red guardian character shard event and how do we earn shards for him well there's this deep freeze orb earn deep freeze orb fragments via the event milestones and then open them to earn gold gear and shards for select characters with the limited time season trade with red guardian at a higher drop rate and then there's a red alert milestone put enemies on ice in blitz and arena using characters with a season trait so this is a season trait milestone specifically for blitz and arena it looks like uh which i really hate because uh nobody's i mean unless they're really good characters most likely we're not going to be using them in arena you know this happened with the um with the anti-venom symbiote milestone and uh, for some X-Force other milestones where you collected points that way. But it was really crappy in order to get points in the arena, so uh, we all know it's going to be through Blitz most of it. So you earn Red Guardian shards this way and more deep freeze orb fragments which will then be opened uh, to get more Red Guardian shards. And then there's the Crimson Affair milestone. This is very similar to the symbiotic milestone I believe or the, the anti-venom event milestone where you participated in alliances alliance raids using that trait so we're going to be using the seasoned character trait in raids with your alliance to get more shards it's probably not going to be a ton uh, from what i remember from the anti-venom shards i believe it was maybe 10 shards for the entire raid milestone it wasn't a lot um, but it's going to make us use these seasoned characters in raids in order to score more orb fragments and possibly some red guardian shards as well uh, so keep an eye out for that i don't really know exactly who the seasoned characters are yet i'm not sure if we have the information on that uh, hopefully they're not too terrible so we can at least try and wiggle our way into using these characters in the raids 
grenades, but we'll have to see. And then finally, the Red Winter Milestone. Score points by opening Deep Freeze Orbs to earn more Red Guardian character shards. I have a feeling this is going to be the main way to get Red Guardian shards, uh, because this is very similar to previous uh, orb open, um, event orb openings like Ghost Rider, uh, Cyclops, Anti-Venom, these kind of uh, specific event milestone orbs, uh, which you're going to then primarily open to get more Red Guardian shards, and that's going to be the main way outside of the orb itself. So, Deep Freeze Orb and three different milestones. One raid milestone, uh, one blitz and arena milestone, and just an orb opening milestone for the event orb. So those are going to be the three primary ways to get red guardian character shards. Doesn't say exactly when the event starts, but I suspect it's going to be sometime after uh, the current mojo event, which is starting on Monday, the showtime currency and all that stuff. Uh, so my guess is it might be towards the end of December, early January before we see this event. Now, let's moving on. So they do actually clarify a little bit on the Mojo's Winter Special uh, event, which is starting on Monday, and how it's going to work with Blitz. So basically, if you're doing manual Blitzing, you're going to score more of the Showtime currency than you will if you're doing Blitz Simming. The reason why they decided to do this is because that there are some people, if you're not level... 55, 60, I, I don't remember the level that unlocks Blitz Sim. Uh, but basically, if you're not there yet, then you're, it's kind of like a bit unbalanced as to how many show, how much showtime currency you're going to get. So in order to even this out, they decided to give people who were manual blitzing a little bit more. Uh, I do plan on doing a math video on this on Monday once we see the actual numbers in terms of the uh, daily objectives and through blitzing to see how much we get. And I'm going to do a sort of a, a spreadsheet table uh, both for Blitz Simming and for manual blitzing to see uh, how much blitzing we need to get done for this event. So if you're are looking forward to that then stay tuned for that that'll be uh, probably on Monday. Emma Frost milestones are coming back uh, in January, again, doesn't say when exactly. So if you're saving your gold and you're waiting to get more Emma Frost miles, <laughs> Emma Frost shards rather, uh, then you'll be waiting a little bit longer, at least a couple of weeks until that comes back. But at least we know that she is coming back and we know that it's going to be in January at some time. So if you're saving gold for that, then keep saving, I guess, or just spend it now and, you know, save up soon. Uh, so again, it's the same ways that we've always been earning milestone shards, character shards, and that's through World Warrior, the High Roller, and the Campaign Energy one. So I, I do have a, a video on this, actually, an Emmerfrost uh, character shard, uh, how to farm for that event. If you guys are interested, uh, you can find that on my channel as well. Uh, that was for the first iteration. It doesn't include the extra character shard that was added to the High Roller milestone, but it does give you a good idea as to how much you need to spend in order to get the ideal amount, because roughly, I think it's 1.25 million. That's going to be how much gold that you're going to want to spend for Emmerfrost shards to maintain that over the 28-day period, which is how long the milestones run for. So uh, be on the lookout for that. It doesn't give us the exact date, but we'll find out soon. So we're having another New Year's calendar it looks like we're getting a login calendar for, for this. So this is a 14-day login calendar. Uh, again, it doesn't say when it starts, but I'm assuming it'll start probably on January the 1st. January the 1st, possibly. Orange War, Orange War Orbs, Gear Credits, and Raid Gear Orbs. So that Orange War Orbs, that's interesting. Orange, Orange War 1 or Orange War 2? Because War 1 was T14 Mini Uniques and War 2 is a T15. So we'll have to wait and see. I kind of highly doubt that they're going to give us a T15 uh, war gear orbs, but uh, we'll find out. And in terms of more farmability for characters, we are getting Swarm. So if you are trying to farm up Swarm for your Sinister Six with Doc Ock coming around the corner, uh, then Swarm will be headed into the arena store. So uh, if you're needing to farm another character like I am, because my arena shards, or my arena credits just keep capping out, uh, then I'll be looking forward to uh, farming him, which should be, I'm hoping, is next Wednesday, uh, because that this might be the end of the month sort of character farm, um, so we don't, I'm assuming that uh, Minerva didn't count in this case, uh, but we'll see. So hopefully it's not too long that we're waiting for Swarm, even though this is a month's worth of blog posts, I'm hoping Swarm comes sooner, sooner rather than later, and this isn't exactly the first character of January and we're waiting that long. It doesn't say exactly, so more cl more clarification might be needed on this. In terms of upcoming Blitzes, uh, there's a lot, because this is like three or four weeks worth, but anyways, uh, we're getting a cable on Monday and then Long Shot starts on Thursday. Thursday, and then the following week we get a rocket blitz, and then another long shot blitz, so that's the second long shot blitz. 
and then starting in January we're getting a Call of City and Blitz so this is nice uh, because obviously I was just ranting about Call of City and going into the premium orb and a lot of people are unhappy about that but we are getting a Blitz so I would uh, you know try to push as hard as you can especially for those people who you know there are people out there who have Ebony Maw unlocked but don't actually have Call of City and unlocked which is absolutely bonkers the fact that you could get the legendary for the Black Order but you don't actually have Call of City and unlocked which is really important to the team really uh, next to Thanos and Ebony Maw, I think Call Obsidian is actually the third most important on the team, and so trying to get as many shards and uh, star ranks up as possible is super, super important, so don't miss this out. Uh, this is January the 4th, looking at my calendar, it is a Monday, uh, and this will be running just before the Yelena Belova Blitz, uh, so that's coming on uh, January the 7th, so that'll be right on the back of the Call Obsidian Blitz, so it's going to be a heavy week for Blitzing then, I think, on that first week of January, and then after that, we have an Ironheart Blitz and Yelena round two uh which will be on january the um 14th i think i was just <laughs> looking at my calendar really quick so uh yelena confirmed to be blitz uh and then we're getting red guardian through an event and then i guess uh you know iceman and uh kitty pride are going to be later down in towards the end of january probably sometime after when they come back with blog posts now in terms of returning legendary characters, we are getting Shuri uh, in December here, and then uh, we should be coming up within a week or so. And then we're getting Doc Ock uh, coming into 2021 here. Uh, so that'll probably be like the first week or second week of January. My guess is probably the first week of January, maybe the end of the first week, uh, which is great. So if you guys need to get Doc Ock now for the second pass, uh, it's, you know, it's a lot easier to get because X-23 is available in the War Store, and that's where people kind of faltered in terms of getting shards to unlock Doc Ock. So if you have... Uh, X-23 at 5 plus stars, and now's your chance to unlock Doc Ock. Keep, I mean, he's not a super, super meta legendary, but he's a lot of fun to use. I've done a lot of gameplay videos with Doc Ock. I love using him as a character. I think he's a lot of fun. So, despite not being super meta like da Ebony Maw or Black Bolt or Phoenix is, Doc Ock is a lot of fun to use. So, uh, try to get him unlocked and give him a shot too, uh, and you'll maybe find him as fun as I do. Now, in terms of other events, uh, we do have some, quite a bit. I mean, it's, this is like a month's worth of blog posts, so you're getting a bunch of, I'm not even going to talk about all these but there's a double shield double aim uh double double whatever this is take a quick break <laughs> uh double xp i think uh, double xp rewards uh we're getting so for anyone's to level 70, 61 and above so this is very important uh, because they didn't actually specify this i don't believe uh, when it came around the first time so you do need to be level 61 and above to qualify for this double xp bonus uh my guess is will be this will be coming in january at some point but who knows uh and then of course there's going to be double spider verse shards for uh the shuri event so if you still need a bit more shards then do that and then we get a Wakandan double bonus for oh wait yep yeah and then a double bonus for Wakandans and then Chaos Theory of course at the start of January <sighs> and then hand <laughs> <laughs> more hand relic hunt event payday you know basically everything i think the only thing they didn't mention in here is block party again that should be monthly too i'm not sure why it is it's not really a huge deal for it not to be monthly but hey i'm not scopely so uh yeah basically everything is coming at some point or another over the next month and uh there's a lot of stuff here but uh, go check out the blog post if uh, i missed anything Otherwise, uh, yeah, this is the end of the blog post for here. What do you guys think about uh, any of these decisions? How do you guys think about uh, Red Guardian coming as an event? Yelena as a blitz? Are you guys going to go hard for skill military? I'm actually considering going hard quite well on that because I do have some good uh, star red stars on some of the other skill militaries for Punisher, Merc Soldier, uh, and I might use Captain Marvel in there in that team. I'm not really sure who I'm going to use at this point yet. But uh, anyways, I'm looking forward to getting started on that Mojo event, which starts on Monday. And uh, just to let you guys know that my birthday is on Saturday, a.k.a. tomorrow. So I'm not going to be running a live stream as I usually do because uh, I'm just going to be taking a little break for that. So uh, you'll see some videos coming up probably on Sunday and past that. But uh, uh, there might be a little bit of a break here and there because of that. So just wanted to let you guys know if you were looking out for that at all. Otherwise, I hope you guys have an awesome weekend. And uh, of course, until next time, stay safe. And I'll see you all later. Boylan signing out.